When I first started planning the wedding, cobalt glass is very um, significant to me. I don't know. I just love it. I've always have gravitated towards it. It's just so impactful, especially when it has flowers in it and the sunlight's coming through. And um, I've been a kind of an antique vintage collector for my whole life, even when I was little, it was kind of weird. Um, I would always go into this one antique store and the lady was like, you may very well be the only 16 year old I know that knows about Flo Blue, China. But, so I wanted to incorporate Cobalt Blue. I'm gonna, I'm dying, I'm talking too slow. And um, I also, I'm a big fan, like I said, of Willow Wear, which is, this is what the invites are based on. The invites have elements of this pattern in it. Not the whole thing, but the border and the birds. So, one of my projects is to collect dessert plates in blue and white. So they don't necessarily have to be the willow pattern, but they do need to be this cobalt blue and white color. So, so far I've collected like 75 of them. Some other examples of blue is um, one of the ones that I'm using. This is a kind of a more modern one, but it's still vintage, considered vintage, just 20 years or older. Uh, uh, this is Wedgwood Ironstone, collecting that. And this is, I think, a more modern, but another take on the blue. So one of my projects is collecting these dessert plates. And so I go to thrift stores all the time and I look for them. I need to find 200, so keep your eyes open. But in the, so that was the one part. And the other thing I'm collecting are cobalt vases. Here's one. Here's another little one. Here's another one pretty flower in it that matches that guy. So these guys are going to, I'm going to have long tables. So originally I was thinking about having them down the center of the table. Not sure if it's going to play out that way, but I'm definitely going to be decorating like the cocktail tables, um, the lounge area. We'll use them at the rehearsal dinner, all manner of different vintage cobalt places, vases. And I'm up to about 50 on those too. So I got to get to cracking. Um, and I, some people were asking me, what am I going to do for favors? And if you saw this, my place, our condo, I have too many cobalt vases, more cobalt vases than any one human ever needs. So I decided that I'm going to give away the vases as the favors, both the vases and the dessert plates. Because why do I need 200 vintage willow or dessert plates? I don't. And um, meaningful things are very important to me. And I had a great time, and I'm still having a great time collecting these vases and collecting the plates. And I think that my guests will enjoy taking one home with them. I mean, it's not a little, they're not cheap little things. You know, sometimes favors can be, you don't use them, they just sit around. So that's, um, that's the core thing that I'm working on. I'm not stressed out about anything except for finding freaking, oh, sorry. I'm not stressed out about anything except for, will I be able to find enough blue vases at the thrift store? But in my travels at the thrift store, I've picked up other things because I have a great eye. And um, one of my, I seem to find really cute little vintage saucers. Um, how pretty is that? Here's some daffodils. These are lovely ladies for organizing your jewelry on your dresser. It makes it look very romantic and feminine. Um, you can find them for 50 cents, 65 cents, uh, depending on what the thrift stores are like in your area. D.C. is great because there are a lot of wealthy people here who give away things. You know, other places, there are a lot of wealthy people that don't give away things. They give them to their children. So a lot of what you're going to find at the thrift store has a lot to do with your community. Look at how cute this, I found this one the other day, for 39 cents. It's, um, it's marked. If things are marked on the bottom, that means that they have more inherent value. It's just a little saucer, so I'm keeping it over here. I put my rings in it while I take a shower. Um, and I'm selling those on Etsy, so I'm not here to promote my Etsy site. But if you guys are interested in getting some little saucers for yourself, I've got them. Last wedding detail before I take out these guys. You want to see our cake toppers? The cake toppers were actually like the foundation for all the different ideas. Um, they're Delft Blue Love Ducks. These guys are so cute to me.
Look, they make a heart when you put them together. And Matt and I are lovebirds, aren't we? We are. I love Matthew. I knew Matt for a long time before I decided to like him. Oh, he used to annoy me so bad. And then I realized I was in love with him the whole time. Um, and ladies, could happen to you. The guy that's next to you, annoying you, pulling, pulling your pigtails, is probably going to be your husband. So don't be too mean to him.